Well, there are still a lot of unknowns surrounding the Omicron variant, but right now doctors believe it has similar aspects to the other variants we've seen so far. Doctors say the Delta variant is still the biggest threat in the state of Alabama, but experts also want everyone to be aware of the symptoms of Omicron. News 19's Archie Snowden talked to an infectious disease expert today about those symptoms and joins us now live with more on what researchers are seeing so far from Omicron. Archie? Well, Jerry, while this is a new variant, it's still a case of COVID-19, which as diagnosed is a respiratory illness. Fatigue and shortness of breath are just two of those symptoms, but just how bad those symptoms can get remains in question. Everything that we know up until now about COVID, this is going to present similarly. Dr. Jody Dion, professor of infectious diseases at UAB, says based on the symptoms that they are seeing, there's no reason to believe that right now there will be any different approach to treatment of the current COVID symptoms. Well, the typical things you're going to feel, you're going to have a scratchy throat, you may have a headache, you may feel that body aching fatigue, um, you may have a runny nose or a cough, but a lot of the time it just starts with that feeling of I just don't feel well and I'm, I'm extra tired. Dr. Dion says that what they can tell many of the cases are mild, but she says that she would be reluctant to describe it as a mild case compared to the Delta variant. When we start to see the infection numbers go up in our community or any community, you see the, the cases rise first, but then the hospitalizations tend to rise two weeks later and we see the deaths about three weeks after the cases started to rise. So they're lagging indicators. We don't know yet of the people who are being infected who are elderly or are maybe at home, they may end up in the hospital next week. So that's why we don't want to say yet um, the severity. Dr. Dion adds that while this is a severe case that, uh, of the variant, they said that the best protection remains still with any other variant is to get vaccinated. In Huntsville, Archie Snowden, News 19.